Clay County parents tell Action News Jax they're furious with the school district's decision to form a police department. Today, the superintendent announced a man with more than 20 years' experience will lead that force. Action News Jax has a live poll right now asking how confident are you the new police force will keep children safe? You can cast your vote on actionnewsjax.com slash vote. New at 5, Action News Jax, Christy Turner is live in Orange Park. Christy, you spoke to parents who say it's being rushed. Parents begged the school board members today to postpone implementing the brand new police force this upcoming school year, but the superintendent says the decision has already been made. Parents in Clay County are speaking out against the school district's plan to create its own police force in a matter of months. I'm worried about the safety of my kids. Brandy Orr has two children in the Clay County School District. She says she feels it's being rushed. With this new police department being set up so quickly, I just don't have that safe feeling right now, and it's just, it's scary. Despite parents' concerns, school board members moved forward with the motion during a special meeting Tuesday. Afterwards, I caught up with Clay County Superintendent Addison Davis, who says the decision was carefully thought out. What are you going to do to ensure that this yeah. is a smooth transition? Sure. and a safe one. The superintendent, my job is to implement the plans. So at, at this point in time, uh, I've been directed to, to move forward with the police department. Therefore, I will host uh, community meetings and, and transition through this entire community to talk about best practices, to talk about next steps. Meanwhile, Superintendent Davis introduced Kenneth Wagner as the inaugural police chief. Wagner has over 20 years of law enforcement experience with the Clay County Sheriff's Office and has led the school resource officer program in the district for for several years. The school district has committed to hiring 47 staff members to its police force. Coming up all new at six, the biggest hurdle the school district says it's facing right now in setting up this police department. Reporting live in Clay County, Christy Turner, CBS 47 Action News Jack.